Everyone, this is the Neo Turbo Maniac here with a review of Devil's Crush for the TurboGrafx-16. Devil's Crush was released back in 1990 and is the second game in the Crush Pinball series. Devil's Crush has an occult theme in which you will encounter targets such as dragons, demons, skeletons, and sorcerers. The control scheme in this game is just like its predecessor Alien Crush in which button 1 activates the plunger and the right flipper, the directional pad will activate the left flipper, and button 2 will nudge the machine. In Devil's Crush, the playing field now consists of three tiers as opposed to two in Alien Crush, and the screen will move along with the ball. You'll also see in Devil's Crush that you'll have moving targets in addition to the stationary targets, so you have a lot more action going on, on the screen. You'll also increase, have bonus points, which increase by uh, hitting the dragon and the skull targets on the lower level to increase the bonus point total the bonus point counter by hitting the moving targets and a bonus point multiplier by destroying the bumpers on the lowest level. You'll also have barriers that are activated on the lowest level by destroying the spider skeleton targets on the, by the bumpers and also hitting the castle target which will activate the center barrier which will prevent the ball from falling to the bottom of the screen. Also in Devil's Crush you'll have uh, paths that can open up that will lead you to bonus stages and also uh, bonus points that you'll earn and like an alien crush when your bonus point counter is maxed out this time at 109 you'll earn an extra ball so what I'm going to show you here is the upper tier which is very difficult to get into because the ball doesn't easily go in there so if you lose two lives early on You'll see flames that will activate at the bottom of the screen, which will take you directly to the highest level. Now, in the highest level, you'll generally encounter uh, sorcerers that, that move around in a circular fashion. And the benefit here is that they'll greatly increase your bonus point counter. So this is a great opportunity to, earn, to max out your bonus points. It'll also increase your, uh, the counter as well since you're destroying the targets. Uh, since you're destroying a moving target. You'll also have skulls on the top of the screen which uh, when all destroyed will stop the the rotating arrows which will lead you to a target that will take you to a bonus stage. Uh, also in this game you'll have bonus stages like in Alien Crush. This time you'll have six bonus stages as opposed to four. So we're going to take a look at some of the bonus stages in this game. Uh, this bonus stage for example we have to destroy three skulls and all the enemies that you'll encounter in the bonus stages will sometimes will throw projectiles at you which when hit can cause the ball to move in a different direction. Also a thing with the bonus stages in this game is that sometimes you'll have uh, dual, sets, dual sets of flippers or you'll just have a single set of flippers so there's a randomness to that as well. So when you complete a bonus stage you'll earn the points and if you get a perfect you'll get a perfect bonus and the benefit of getting a perfect bonus in the bonus stage is that your ball will now change to blue. So when your ball is blue, yet blue balls, which in this game it's a good thing, anywhere else of course it's bad, all point values are quadrupled. So the ball will remain blue on screen for roughly about a minute. So this is the best opportunity to try to earn your bonus points. So you hope that you could probably enter a target which will get, you, which will get your bonus points. So you're going to see here, for example, that I entered into the target with my ball blue. I see 1.65 million points, but I'm actually going to get 6.6 .6 million points. Uh, entering a bonus stage while your ball is blue will also retain the, uh, the quadruple point values as well. Devil's Crush has a password feature in this game, which you can start the game at a much higher score with a higher number of balls. Getting a billion points will end the game. You'll also have the tilt feature like an Alien Crush if you hold down button 2 with the turbo switch on, which will automatically cause you to lose a ball. And when you lose your last ball in this game, you'll have the opportunity to earn one more additional ball by matching the last three digits of your score with the flashing number on screen. In this game, it actually is a little bit easier to match up than it is compared to Alien Crush, but it's not always a given.
Devil's Crush is one of the best console pinball games ever made. It's also one of the best games for the TurboGrafx-16. Uh, let's go through the positives because there's just so many of them. One, the graphics. I like the graphics in this game. Very well detailed. And it's also, it also makes use of a much brighter color palette than compared to Alien Crush. Uh, I also like that the playing field now scrolls and it's three tiers high as opposed to two. Uh, they also expanded on the bonus stages in this game that you have six instead of four. And the bonus stages I find to be a lot more challenging compared to Alien Crush. Uh, the music is, is very well done in this game. And I like the sound effects as well. It has uh, very realistic uh, pinball sound effects. And I also like the physics of the ball. It has a very realistic feel to it. So... Devil's Crush is definitely one of the best pinball games ever made, and if you own a TurboGrafx-16, I don't need to tell you to get this game. I'm sure you probably have it. It can fetch for a decent amount of money on eBay, probably like around 50 or 60 bucks these days. If you don't own a TurboGrafx, you can pick this up for the Wii Virtual Console, so I strongly recommend this game. Uh, this is one of my personal all-time favorite games for the TurboGrafx-16. Uh, I remember first getting this game over 20 years ago, and I played it non-stop for forever. So I definitely give this game 5 out of 5 stars. Thank you.